Okay, so I'm like two minutes away from the beginning of the reading rush. I was supposed to sleep and start tomorrow morning, but um, I have decided to not. I don't know, I just started watching Butcher, but then I got really excited because of everyone's like TBRs and now I'm gonna read. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Midnight. Let's go. Um, so I think the first book I'm reading is uh, The Real Lolita by Sarah Weinman. Hopefully, I think I'll like, I don't know, because it's a hardback, it looks so big, but actually it's like 200 pages, and since it's non-fiction, there is like 20 pages of bibliography, so I think I'll be good. Um, and we'll talk tomorrow morning. I just realized I never said what the Lolita book was about. Um, I think it's pretty self-explanatory from the title. Um, it's this investigative writer who um, is basically trying to retrace the genesis of the Lolita story from the story that Nabokov was inspired by, um, the multiple stories he was inspired by, um, and to how he finally came to write the story. Um, I think the beginning was difficult, but it's really getting stronger now, so um, that's good. <laughs> um, I don't know, I feel like I might go to bed when I, eat, when I hit 100 pages and I'll finish it tomorrow, I mean, when I wake up. Um, and yeah, that'll be it. Hello everyone, I just woke up um, in time accidentally for the first reading sprint which I'm very excited about. Unfortunately, I am uh, fully unpresentable but um, I'm just gonna go down for breakfast and start the uh, reading sprint when it does and try to finish. It's my first time doing reading sprints um, but I'm really excited for that so yeah. <laughs> I'm about to start my third reading sprint in a row. Um, I can't stop reading this. Like the beginning was really hard and kind of tedious, but I am only have like 30 pages left, but I am starving. It's almost 2 p.m. here. So I'm gonna get some melon. just finished my first book um, like honestly it's so heartbreaking like you know I felt like I wasn't patient enough with the other and basically it's only really halfway through that you understand why the beginning had to be that way 
and why it had to be basically tedious and difficult. Um, because all of the information that seems like unnecessary at first, well, <laughs> well, then it becomes like clear why she needed to give all that. And I think it's trying to make the point that be like behind Lolita's like success as a literary work. Um, and behind its impact on culture, American culture, or even <laughs> beyond America, um, it was first the story of like not just one girl who was abducted and like lived hell for two years, but also like a lot of other women who had been treated wrongly by men and I think like I think it's a really important novel or novel it's a really important work of like investigative journalism it's really really impressive and I feel like um, it should be taught with the like Nabokov novel because um, there is too much propensity to misinterpret uh, the novel and it would be nice and if there was all of this backstory I'm gonna start listening to Good Omens soon I think I'm not gonna go outside because it is Deadly, <laughs> um, I will melt. So right now I'm getting ready to film the video challenge and the Instagram challenge. Um, the Instagram challenge is to make a book fly. This is gonna be daunting, but um, I have a few ideas, a few ambitious ideas, of course, because I cannot help myself but we're gonna try to make this work, okay. So my very first reading challenge just went live and so did my very first bookstagram post. Um, now I can rest. Uh, I'm gonna lie down in the dark, listen to some good amends. I really like the voice um, acting in this, even though it's really weird that like a middle-aged man um, is like making the different voices of like four 11 year old, years old but it's a very fun book, I love it and I'm excited to finish it I'm telling you good night and see you in a few hours for day two mm, I just woke up um, it's like 8.40 and there's a reading sprint in 5 minutes so I'm gonna do that <laughs> I get some coffee and yeah we'll see in the house are closed to try and protect ourselves from the devastating effects of the heat wave but I do really want to film the second video challenge because I got good ideas so I'm gonna crack open the blinds and hope I don't melt on sight um, I did get a bit more ahead in good almonds 
So this heat situation is making me extremely unproductive in my reading. I, I fell asleep while listening to Good Almonds. So now I have to like click the 30 seconds back button a million times. Um, I don't think I'm gonna finish Good Almonds tonight. I think I'm gonna start reading the collection of essays by Chelsea Hudson and uh, I'll finish Good Almonds tomorrow. I'm kind of A about not finishing a book tonight. I think I wasted a lot of time sleeping and editing the video challenge, the Instagram challenge, um, yesterday's vlog. So I'll try to manage my time better tomorrow. So yeah, this is the update. So I just finished the A.S. King Hosted uh, reading sprint in which I had a lot of fun and exposed my fanfiction reading ways um, because uh, she asked oh um, like what is the weirdest thing you've ever read and I replied a reptile dysfunction which is a run direction fanfiction um, that is absolutely wild and by the way happy birthday one direction it's been nine years and yes i have to bring one direction in every single conversation i have today so now that's done um and yeah i'm on page 29 of tonight i'm someone else honestly i had no reason to be this um, stressed about reading this book because it is so good. Um, I'm on the second essay and I really love Chelsea Hudson's voice. I love what she has to say about um, desire and like life in America and like, I don't know, I love her perspective. And um, it's funny because I started reading a book earlier, like her first essay kind of weaves together her like time working for NASA and her affair with a guy who was like involved in drug dealing and tagging and stuff and it's done in such a masterful way and I was kind of expecting that from one of the books I had been reading earlier this year which I kind of gave up on because it was not what I wanted but I'm getting everything I want from this book so yeah that's great now uh, I'm going to keep reading this until around midnight I think it's like 11 p.m. here and then I'll go to sleep or I'll try to go to sleep once the like temperature goes down I'll be able to sleep so yeah good night see you tomorrow <laughs>good morning everyone um, today we're not going through another day of watching me make breakfast uh, I am going to eat breakfast though it's a bit later than I've woken up so far this week but um, I don't know what I'm gonna do I feel like making milkshake and I kind of want to incorporate that in the video challenge for today so I'll get back to you on that Just like I do too So I just finished um, Tonight I'm someone else Honestly, I wish every impulse buy um, was this rewarding um, I think I've already said how it reminds me of like some of my favorite singer-songwriters and also some essays in this kind of have a vibe like the colleges that you can see sometimes on Tumblr where it's like 
seven quotes by different authors stacked together and they're like in a theme and I think that kind of makes this writing strong that it can like stand between those like famous references and um, yeah so right now I think I'm gonna listen to some good omens again I'm still not done with it um, and try to not die of heat so yeah Okay, so we're on to day four of the reading rush and I'm going crazy. Um, it's gonna be 42 degrees outside and to be honest, I have like cabin fever. I'm going crazy in this house. Uh, my sister was like, hey, do you want to go to Versailles today? And I was like, no, it's gonna be 42 degrees. But now I'm regretting it and I want to go on an adventure. I also want to read The Great Gatsby today so I can watch the movie adaptation but for that I need to get some popcorn unfortunately I have very specific tastes in popcorn which means that um, I have to travel 40 minutes away from where I live to get the popcorn I want which I'm gonna do because I'm crazy um, and I'm gonna take you with me so Yay! Um, so the weather is still a bit hellish, so I'm just gonna wait an hour or so until um, it goes below 40, and then I'll go out. In the meantime, I'm gonna keep reading Gatsby, and yeah. Okay, so I'm about a third of the way into Gatsby and I'm having a lot of fun. Um, I really love Nick. I think he's funnier than I remember. And honestly, Fitzgerald like prose is absolutely beautiful and like exquisite, if I do say so myself. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just gonna get ready and leave like in a few minutes and I'm taking you with me. So, um, I'm dying. <laughs> uh, public vlogging is extremely weird and embarrassing and bad, but we're gonna try and catch this bus. Yeah, okay. so surprised because last year I read This Side of Paradise which is uh, Fitzgerald's first novel and it was all over the place. I mean it was fun but it was all over the place and this is such a focused novel that um, I don't know it's really really great like there are a few things that kind of bothered me um, but I think it might just be a five star read, I don't know. Um, I'm gonna get some popcorn and try to find one adaptation of Gatsby that I want to watch. 
I kind of feel guilty about not having done the challenges um, today and not having answered any comments in like two days. But um, I don't know, I just kind of get overwhelmed. Oh my God. I get overwhelmed sometimes and I need to like take a step back. So it's just a break. Also, I wasn't really inspired by the challenges anyways. So yeah, tomorrow's Friday. I don't know. The night is young. I don't know what I'll do. I'll probably read another chapbook, maybe. Don't know. And yeah. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good morning. Today is day five of the reading rush. Um, we are back to normal weather here, so that's good. Um, I think I'm going to have a poetry chat book for breakfast and then I'm going to get started on the girls because if I don't, then I will never read it. And, and, and what else? Oh yeah, and I have to tidy my room. Um, so I'll probably listen to good omens when I do that. So yeah, let's go. <laughs> Hopefully today I get around to doing the challenges. Um, and yeah, see you later. I've been not very productive lately. I haven't even started The Girls by Emma Klein, which um, I feel like is going to be the death of me. It's the one book that I had, like the one that I was supposed to read last year, and I still haven't gotten down to it. It's probably the biggest or longest one besides the other book. And the more I wait to read it, the more I'm like scared that it will be shit. But I have been reading a lot of the chat books. Um, I read Book of Mirrors, which was really good. Um, I really liked it. It was basically the author um, has a chronic illness, or multiple chronic illnesses, I think, from, uh, from her bio. And she really kind of chronicles in the book of poetry like what her illnesses are to live with and it's really interesting um i read year of the big which is like deceptively lighthearted. i think i mean some of the poems are really 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 good i mean there's a poem that reminds me so much of whiskey of, of mitski um it's like it starts with like i always bet on lame horses which is literally like the sentiment that there is behind I bet on losing dogs and I just love having um, like correspondences between the music I love and poetry or the literature that I love it's just important to me and it's like the Lena literary universe yeah and then I read Garlands um Garlands oh my god first of all it started with like a quote by Safia Elilo, which is, who is, um, like, I think she's Sudanese or something. I mean, she's a writer um, who wrote, like, a poetry book called The January Children. And I heard one of her poems once on YouTube, by the way, and it was so good. Um, and I cried. And she, and like this chat book starts with like her praising the author and I was like, holy shit, I'm gonna love it. And then there is a Sappho quote um, in translation by Anne Carson, which is like a weakness of mine. So I was basically primed to like this chat book. So the first poem in the chat book is called The World. And I was like, oh, this reminds me of like the tarot card because I like tarot. And um... I was like, oh, maybe it's just a coincidence. But then there's a poem called Lovers. And then, then there's another poem called The Fool. And I'm just like, oh shit, this is absolutely like in reference to tarot. And I love, I love this book because it's very sensuous, 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 I know. And I mean, it's definitely a declaration of love. It takes both the little feelings like of the everyday and makes something very like exquisite and kind of luxurious about it. I don't know how to.
Hey, good morning. It is Saturday today and I feel like I'm not gonna be able to finish my TBR, which um, aches. Yeah, so yesterday I got around to 60 pages of the girls. I have mixed feelings about it so far, but I'm gonna push through and thank God I discovered that it's the author's first novel. So if I don't get around to reading Carrie, then I will still have that challenge checked out. And um, hopefully I'm gonna be able to finish Good Almonds today. I have a lot of grocery shopping and cooking to do, um, like because we're having a kind of family get together tonight. So I won't be able to read that much but I will be listening to Good Omens. Yeah, I mean, yesterday I read 30 pages, about 30 pages of chat books. So, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna show you all the things I Great, and now the rich get up in the jar. Today is day 7, it's Sunday evening, um, I finished the girls a little while ago and now I'm gonna try and finish the almonds um, before the day ends basically. So yeah, it's the last stretch. Um, I have felt less and less energy for vlogging. Um, I don't know, I like in the end I just realized that I spent so much time making videos and editing when it's like a read-a-thon and not a video-a-thon. So yeah, I just decided to refocus on reading and like getting all of the freaking badges, which I will be doing. <laughs> it's really a relief. And yeah, you probably will have seen the wrap-up video once you see this, but yeah, like, it was a very intense week. I don't know how people who daily vlog do this, honestly. Like, it is so draining. I don't know, it's just weird. But yeah, I'm about to finish Good Almonds. I think I'm gonna read it rather than listen to it, just because um, I feel better about this. Yeah. Okay, let's go. I'm so glad I got the um, this edition because the little like drawings are really cute. Every time he crossed my mind 